Hi, I'm Dr. Charles Raison. I'm on the steering committee for the U.S. Psychiatric Congress. Uh, I'm here today with Dr. Craig Donnelly. Good to see you, sir. Thanks. So you've really been at the forefront of, of working on how telemedicine, especially in rural areas, can, can enhance care, working out of Dartmouth. Can you t tell us a little bit about what you've been doing and, and where you think it's going? Sure. I mean, tele-delivered health care services is the, the fastest growing component of health care delivery in the United States. So not just in psychiatry, but across areas of medicine. Um, we've found that telepsychiatry allows us to deliver services in rural settings to patients who otherwise uh, would not be able to, um, to access child psychiatry expertise. And the model that we've been using is to work with distant community mental health centers or smaller regional hospitals where we actually provide telepsychiatry evaluations of patients and then within 24 hours provide a, a, a comprehensive report with a menu uh, driven um, plan of action forward so that that travels back to the pediatrician or the adult psychiatrist in the community mental health center and they can then manage the children in their medical homes with us having seen them but sparing the families a day missed work and having to drive two and a half hours in the snow over the mountains uh, up where we are in a rural setting. Uh, so this provides, one, um, patients to be cared for in their local medical home. Two, presumably it increases the comfort level that pediatricians have to manage child psychiatry on psychotropic medications in the medical home because they know that they have us in the background as consultants. And basically we've been able to reach, I think, a, a, a large portion of the kids in our two-state region that don't have access to expertise in child psychiatry services by being able to project that out into local medical homes using a telepsychiatry model. Do you need really complex sort of equipment on both ends to make that go? No, it's surprisingly easy this day and age. Um, we don't use Skype and people should know that uh, Skype is unencrypted so it doesn't meet HIPAA guidelines, but there are lots of different video uh, carriers uh, that, that basically if you have a, a handheld device, uh, an iPhone or uh, an iPad, um, our sort of motto is BYOD, uh, bring your own device. Yeah. So we can um, access doctor's offices out in the country that have uh, basic internet connection and we use one of the, the encrypted um, communication venues that are widely available today. So it's surprisingly easy. Yeah. That's great. Thank you, sir. Great sure, my pleasure. You.